That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Big Daddy Hoffman 1911 coming to you today. Hey, I got my favorite shotgun, the DP-12 from Standard Matter Factory. Then I've got their AR-15. It's a new one. It's a Model A. So we're going to put this thing on the table, talk a little bit, and then have some fun. Let's get this dog and pony show on the road. All right. Here we go, guys. What is this? Is that a clinton magazine or something yeah yeah uh, that's the torque mag 50 round magazine so there's your standard magazine right there adds just a little bit more uh length to it and you got 50 rounds in it so we're running that it comes with the mft mag um which is a great magazine an anti tilt follower but bigger is always better okay all right, so this is what you're going to get. This is Sandy Manufacturer is now producing uh, three AR-15s, the Model A, the Model B, and the Model C. This is the Model A. It's basically everything you'd want in the first AR. You know, a lot of guys buying an AR-15 for the first time, they'll underspend or overspend. And this is the sweet spot right in the middle. It's got all the um, amenities that you'd want and none that you don't. You've got your single single point sling attachments already built in there. You've got an upgraded stock, the Rogers Super Stock, which is a very good six position stock that actually locks in place. So that's a really cool feature. Um, where's the lock? There you go, right here. So that just locks in place once you get it to where you want it. And it's not gonna move at all, uh, which is gonna help you quite a bit with your accuracy. Um, you've got the uh, you've got the Magpul handguard here, and you've got the low profile gas block. Uh, and that is essential. Not a lot of guns are coming with that, um, that gas block. It's got a Picatinny rail on it, so you can do the Magpul flip-ups like we've got here, or you could put on an optic. We have this 4X uh, Vism scope from Optics Planet with a little reflex light on it, so that's an option. Uh, and they just didn't fit on there together, and we're at close range, so that's why we're using the uh, the MBUS sights here. But really high quality, machined in-house by the guys at uh, Standing Manufacturing. Really, really hard to beat, something like this. Is this a new fad, the, the color? Yeah flat dark earth on black is that yeah, right yeah we just took them off of this one so <laughs> <laughs> okay but uh we've been out here for an hour an hour or so plinking away and we've just had no issues whatsoever it's a uh one and eight uh twist barrel which is which is really good it's going to get you right in the middle it's going to shoot those 55 and 62 grain bullets really really well what's the msrp on this uh, I think it's right around, I think it's $9.99 or right around that area. So you're going to probably see them in stores right around $800, which is a good, I mean, the the $500 AR is a $500 AR. It's a good little planker, but something like this is going to be of higher quality. It's going to last a lifetime. It sure it is. With these features, the heavy duty barrel, everything, right? Yeah, nitrated barrel, everything. And the company that stand behind it, Sandy Manufacturing, they're really solid guys and they stand behind their products. So They sure are. Sure are. I've been pretty pleased with it so far. Um, let's let's shoot a little bit more. I like that flat bark earth DP12 too. You know, it's nice. Yeah, we're gonna shoot that a little bit too. <laughs> We've been shooting uh, 62 grain um, M855 um, from Freedom Munitions, and that's been working really really well for us. All right. So, so what else? Uh, we'll run some buckshot maybe out of uh, this DP12. Put, maybe put up against each other what do you think i think it's good i like that ammo too you know yeah okay all right let's have some fun right. you ready yep okay jason what are we gonna do here all right we're just gonna shoot uh rubber dummy we're not gonna shoot the steel targets with uh with the armor piercing ammo <laughs> that would be that would not be smart no. um so uh we got some really cool duracell targets down there really affordable and we can shoot that and the rubber dummy with the uh with any rifle ammunition so and the cans are really cool those are a new soup can is what they're calling them and you can fill them full of powder we got them full of uh, flour and they're supposed to uh explode on contact and you can shoot them thousands and thousands of times with any caliber of ammunition so we'll see what happens all right we'll show you those a little closer later here guys all right jason let's let's see it run first okay okay 
let me get it to where I want it and then lock it in place. All right. Yeah, that doesn't move at all. Rubber dummy. All right, let's try some of those Duracell. Let's go let them rip into the dummy, okay? Okay. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Hey, this, this rifle had a hiccup, buddy. No. I really like this rifle. Locks open on the last round. Feels good. So, we kicked up some smoke here, didn't we? Or dust. Yeah, sand, I think. All right, let's go load her up. All right. All right, guys, we got a new shooter on the range today. John Mike from New York, right? New York. All right, so. Little state. How you guys like these things up there? We love them. All right. Fun to shoot. Okay. All right. Give it a shot and tell me what you think. Certainly. What's well, the New York has a safe act, right, John Mike? Yes. So uh, safe acts. You can't have more than I think two or three of the features that you see on these uh, these assault style rifles. You know the scary hand grips, the extended bags, the drop down handle in the front. Um, so New York's uh, manufacturers, they've come up with some ingenious uh, features where your upper kind of just uh, pin releases, folds up, and then you you have a, a pin mag that you just stuff five rounds in. Five rounds. So, yeah, it still looks, still looks and functions like the, the AR-15s. That's ridiculous, guys. That's but, why you got to uh, get out and vote for your rights uh, <laughs> so you don't have to drive down to North Carolina to shoot a gun the way it was designed, right? Yep. All right, let's let them rip. What? There you go, getting some double taps in there. <laughs> That's nice. How's it uh, feel? Feels good. Uh, not a lot of recoil. Stay right on your target. Yep. Shoots very nice, I like this. Has a real solid feel to me. All right guys, little teaser with the DP-12. Uh, this is one that they sent me because I told them I wanted a flat dark earth. I've never pulled the trigger on this, show you what kind of guy I am. I'm going to let my buddy Matt <laughs> have at it the it. first time. Okay. And Matt, you've never shot a DP-12. No, I haven't. You're going to be very pleased. Yeah. So, so I have seen the other video and I didn't know that they made them in this color. So. Yep. And Jason said that you've got one in green too. Exactly. coming in green. Exactly. Right so. now we've got them in black, green, and flat dark earth. Nice. So, you know, you pump it, pull the trigger twice, mm -hmm. pump it, you got 16 rounds of fun. Oh, sweet. So let's see what you what kind of my shoulder. You I don't know if my shoulder can withstand that. We'll find out. All right, buddy. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you this, and and uh, she's on safety, and you ready to go? Thank you. All right, how about it? Mark and slide. No, you should just pull back. Just pull I, pull, I just pulled back after yeah. that? Yeah, oh, just nice. like that. Yeah. I thought there was a release. Nope. Look, one of those little ground balls. That 16 rounds goes pretty fast. <laughs> Look, I got one right here for me. <laughs> <laughs> so how'd you like that? Uh, actually, this thing does not have any kind of recoil that you you would expect. Um, no, it's not it, like a normal shotgun, I guess, because 
the way the system operates through here. But yeah, it uh, I don't know. I might have to get me one of these now. I mean, they put a they put <laughs> a ton of money in research and development when they when they made this thing. So I mean, I just love it. And you're right about the recoil. It's just very yeah. Little. And I you know it does it, it's kind of unusual looking uh firearm it kind of looks more like your bullpup rifles but your face sits on here really nice and it's it easy to get these sights aligned um, and the, the ejection down you don't get all that in your face or anything yeah, you know yeah it's very uh somebody uh, was thinking very hard when they designed this thing for they sure. sure did so you got to pull it uh first rounds on my new rifle i mean new shotgun how about that i know i have to bring something new by by <laughs> here and let you shoot yeah it. that's exactly right you want to load it up and give it a whirl well somebody let's let your brother do it all right all right all right remember pull the trigger twice and pop it so uh, let's see how you do with that also we're using bird shot so you're gonna have to stand fairly close to these to knock them down okay okay all right so have at it Pull it back, straight back. Ooh, it's a little tight. We didn't fully load that one, but <laughs> what'd you think of that? Uh, that was pretty much unlike anything I've ever shot. <laughs> is it clear? Yes, it is clear. Okay, cool deal. I, I mean, it's hard to get used to that first shot, isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, it's an interesting design. I mean, I can't really say much more about it than Matt did. Uh, <clears throat> it's comfortable to shoot. It's kind of stylish. Pretty grand, glamorous looking shotgun, if you ask me. <laughs> How about that? That's that 62 grain... Uh armor piercing round from freedom munitions got stuck right in that dura seal uh target that's pretty cool now yeah, these things are strong aren't they yeah if we can stop that going at over three thousand feet per second yep that's cool that's right all right there we go i could have juggled that right yeah okay i think this might be the standard for the hoffman compound for a while what do you think when it comes to ar-15 i think that uh now it definitely could be a benchmark for sure yes sir standard manufacturing guys check it out we're going to post what information we have underneath the video you'll be seeing this more on the range and um let's see what else jason and you'll be seeing more of that dp12 flat dark earth on the range i guarantee you that so i'm glad my buddy's got to shoot it all right guys uh let's close this one out keep up the fight against gun control always join and support the nra and if you want to support the channel go to hoffmanfirearms.com you can find some neat patches i think i had some but uh yeah i do matter of fact i got some right here uh you know i'm always saying uh sweet cherry pie take a look at this jason sweet sweet cherry pie and that's what i'm gonna have to give this ar you know so you can find these at hoppinfirearms.com and I also have some Big Daddy Hoffman patches. That's the same one, in it? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, uh, you know. Anyway, I got those too. So uh, other than that, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and uh, where else, Jason? I think that's it. That's the Big Daddy Hoffman patch right there. That's a nice looking patch. Yeah, this is unedited. Can you tell? Yeah. Okay. Off the and, cuff. Hey guys, don't forget about the rubber dummies. We got those there too. And we did give them a little hard time, you know. So, all right guys, that's about all I got to say. Remember as always, Big Daddy loves you. Share your sport with others. God bless you all. Hoorah.